हेलो दोस्तों मेरा नाम नारायण है एंड वन सेकेंड आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू व्यूवर्स इन दिस वीडियो एंड आई होप दिस वीडियो विल बी इन्फॉर्मेटिव फॉर यू गाइज सो बिफोर गोइंग फॉर द आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस अबाउट माई चैनल सो बेसिकली माई चैनल इज बेस्ड ऑन एम सी आई टी पी एन सी सी एन ए वीडियोज इफ़ यू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल यू विल गेट वीडियोज बेस्ड ऑन सी सी एन ए एज वेल एज माई एम सी आई टी पी बिच इज विंडोज सर्वर बैकग्राउंड सो इफ़ यू वॉन्ट टू सब्सक्राइब यू कैन सब्सक्राइब बाई दिस यू आर एल विच इज़ गिवन हीयर और इफ़ यू गो टू सिम्पली यू ट्यूब एंड सर्च बाई माई नेम इन दैट केस ऑल्सो यू कैन गेट गेट माई चैनल सिम्पली गो टू यू ट्यूब एंड माई नेम इज़ नारायण बघेल इफ़ यू टाइप एंड सर्च इट सो इट विल शो माई माई चैनल ऑन द टॉप एंड आई हैव अपलोडेड सम अराउंड 230-35 videos uh, based on CCN and MCITP. If you subscribe, you will get from there. So now, uh, uh, we will uh, go uh, through this OSPF virtual links. So first of all, we would like to uh, know uh, what is the use of virtual links here in OSPF. So uh, as you can see here, I have taken a very uh, small example here. If you see, I have taken four routers and uh, divided all those routers in three areas: area zero, area one, and area two. And I have colored uh, in three uh, three colors. One color is this one, and second is different, and this third one is different. So if you see the two interface of uh, two routers, this side, this interface and this interface is in uh, area zero, and same here, one port of this and one port of this router is in. Uh, area one and two port. I mean one port of this router and one port in one port of this router. Area two. So the thing is here about uh, virtual links. What is the meaning of first of all? We will try to understand. See, uh, it was stated that all areas must directly connected to uh, connected into area zero. So the rule is very simple. All the areas should be connected to. uh your backbone area uh, which is your uh, you can say area 0 it is a rule uh if you are dealing with the uh, ospf uh, environment so you have to follow this in this example area 2 has no direct connection to area 0 so it is clearly showing this area 2 is connected uh to area 1 but with, uh, but it is not directly connected to area 0 but if you talk about area 1 it is directly connected to uh Area zero. Somehow it is connected because this router is mediated between uh, between area zero and area one, and uh, but must transit. If if the scenario is area two has to transit uh, through area one, and uh, and it is possible through uh, router B and C. If this uh, if this router two want to reach to router. Uh, Router A want to reach to router D, then the traffic will come from uh, router B, C, then D. So uh, area zero is backbone. Uh, now this is the scenario. What will happen in normal OSPF operation? This shouldn't be possible. So if we talk about the normal OSPF scenario, it will not work. Uh, this router can get uh, router B can get some updates from router D, but if you talk about router a to get updates from router d it is not possible so or uh, if you talk about router d to get updates from router uh, <coughs> sorry uh, router a it is not possible uh, i will show you i have uh, created one example here i have taken four routers here and created same thing here so i have taken uh, this is my area 2 Uh, th th uh, this side and this side area one and this is area zero. I have I have took ten dot one dot one and one seventy two dot twenty two dot one four four dot one network here and I have already configured. So if you I if I show you here, uh, enable uh, show IP root. Nothing. It is showing directly connected only and I will uh, verify so IP OSPF. command ospf i have configured if you see here the uh, ospf one is i have already configured okay to save the time i have already uh, configured and uh, kept here but if, if you see here it is not showing any ospf root it should show on all the routers i have configured if you go here 
uh, so we do not need to configure it again and again here so IP root as you can see here it is showing one update okay because this router is somehow connected uh, with this area one interface okay that is why it is getting some update but this is this router is not getting here also you will see something so IP root okay as you can see here uh, so same thing is here with this router as you can see here this router is also not showing any update it is showing directly connected only uh, but it is not showing 145 network here it should show uh, it is why it is not showing because it is not directly connected to this router so same thing is applying here also and if you go to this one and enable so ip root okay so as you can see here uh 145 uh this 172.22.144 is coming to here from this router because again this is connected directly some part is connected directly okay so we will configure here link now this is the situation where uh, we are not able to see any update uh, uh, for this router from uh, D okay as well as this C is not able to get any update from uh, this router so now this this is a, a normal OSPF configuration so if we want to make a proper communication we can use virtual links here uh, now as you can see here there there may be certain circumstances that may prevent an area from directly connecting to uh, connecting into area 0 so uh, th there there are some possibilities it may prevent from connecting into area uh, 0 so same thing is happening here now virtual link can be used as a uh, workaround so I'm telling about virtual link uh, with the help of virtual virtual link we can make it possible to logically connect separated area to uh, area 0 with the help of virtual links we can make it possible to connect all the areas to area 0 uh, same thing is here as you can see in this example I have mentioned a virtual link would essentially create a tunnel okay it will create a tunnel from around uh, area 2 to area 0 using area 1 uh, a transit area one end of the virtual link must be connected to area 0 so the same thing is here I am telling you again and again here in this scenario as you can see here okay so we have to uh, we will have to configure uh, virtual link here and here and uh, wherever we are configuring uh, or, or whichever the router we are going to configure it should be directly connected one interface should be connected directly to uh, area 0 so one interface is connected here okay so the command is uh, very same here I have taken the command is also configuration occur on the area water router connecting area 1 to area 2 router B and router C see uh, this is the uh, situation here now if we want to configure on router B th this will be command router OSPF1 router ID we will have to assign router ID for uh, all the routers and area 1 virtual link and this ID of the next router for example what I am saying if I am going to configure here then I will have to configure a router ID for this uh, router as well as uh, for virtual link this this router id so i have not configured uh, uh, any router id as of now so I'm, ju I'm, I'm just going to i will configure here only okay so we will uh, go here config terminal and uh, router ospf1 enter router id um, for this router, I'm give, give, giving 2.2.2 .2 enter. Oh, what is error here? Uh, reload or use clear IP OSPF process command for this to take uh, effect. Okay, we will do it later. No issue. So now what we have to run? We have to run one more command here. The command is finally we have to run area one virtual link. Okay, so we will do this and uh, I'm going to router zero, not router zero, router one, 
uh, router one this one so the command is uh, we should uh, use question mark if you are not getting uh, what will be next command so I have given router ID already now this must thing we can configure here so the next one is uh, better uh, we, we see here area one and uh, go to router one to area one virtual link uh, virtual link 3 dot 3 dot 3 and exit from here saying same, same thing we need to do uh, on router C also uh, router C which is a router 2 here conf terminal router OSPF 1 and uh, router ID 3.3.3 first of all then uh, then what we need to do here uh, router not router area area 1 and virtual link 2.2.2 so we have created one uh, virtual link here also I mean on this router also so we will uh, do same thing same thing here also I'm not going to do here I'm just giving router ID that's it configuration router OSPF 1 and router ID 1.1.1.1 and exit now we will uh, do same thing here also we will assign uh, router OSPF 1 and uh, router ID 4.4.4 and exit and uh, exit from here better uh, what we will do once uh, so IP root command let's see what is happening here now so still it is showing uh, 145 uh, 144 and there is no update I believe here also exit uh, so I be root so uh, still it is not reflecting any changes here OSPF update is not happening so let let me uh, save this configuration first and reload routers I'm I'm going to just save all the configuration better to reload and WR here also wr exit wr here also wr and reload reload this one also we'll see what is happening because it is asking to reload again and again okay reload and this one also so I have reloaded all the routers now we will check the same command so IP root what is happening here so let this router uh, come up okay so all the routers are up now now we will check enable so IP root so as you can see here now it is updating uh, this one uh, 10 already updating we will see here so IP root oh. Okay, we will uh, we will check it uh, on all the routers. So first of all, when we started uh, uh, in earlier uh, uh, of this configuration, initial stage of this configuration, it was not getting any update from router A. I mean router zero, but we uh, created one virtual link and gave uh, virtual IDs or router IDs. Then uh, we will see here. So just now I uh, ran that command once again and now it is it is coming this this route is coming earlier it was not coming so i will show you once again here okay so the uh, this, this is coming now if you go here and see uh it is showing this one i and 
आई एन द मीनिंग ऑफ आई एन इज ओ एस पी एफ इंटर एरिया ओके एंड आई बी सी द सेम थिंग शुड शो हियर ऑल्सो ओके एज यू कैन सी हियर हियर ऑल्सो इट इज शोइंग इंटर एरिया कम्युनिकेशन सो वी हैव इनेबल्ड वर्चुअल लिंक नाउ इट इज अपडेटिंग ऑल द routing updates or exchanging all the updates and packets are uh, being sent and received so uh, we can check one more thing it should ping uh, 10.1.1.2 uh, 2 is the yes 2 it should ping what is the proper communication now it is pinging i just tried to ping from this router to this interface router okay as you can see here two is two is ip address of this this interface uh 10.10. 10 10.1.1.2 uh, okay so it is pinging if we try to ping uh, uh, from here also it should ping that router which is mera 1 uh, 172.145. sorry 23.145.2 it should ping now it is pinging so we have enabled a uh, virtual link between uh, uh, this router and this router and traffic is coming from uh, this router to here and here so uh, it it is working properly and uh, see slightly we talk about this is the scenario i hope this scenario is uh, clearly and uh, this is the command as you can see here i have taken and uh, did the same thing here now bit i, I will talk about the little bit uh, different uh, scenario now i have taken one more example here so in this example i have uh, uh, area 0 here in place of area 2 and area 0 here so now i have two area 0 uh, and area 1 so in this condition also we have, we will have to use the same command same configuration will work if uh, in place of area 2 if you are if you are configuring uh, this router or this side as area 0 still this this will happen this communication will happen so in this video this much only the same thing you will have to configure uh, the way we have configured here router vnc and uh, i hope this video will be informative uh, for you guys if it is helpful please subscribe my channel for more more videos and more updates and please do like this video comment on this video and subscribe my channel and wait for my next channel i mean the next video i will be discussing about the authentication how to configure a uh, virtual vlink authentication uh, in ospf till then bye bye